this video, we are going to see how we use the civil commands to generate the slopes for the abutments. There are no curtain walls, there are no aprons, so let's do this. First, let's clean up a little bit of uh, what are we visualizing. So for that, I will just turn off the corridors. Right? And we are just interested on the abutments. So I will just take out all the elements and I just leave my abutments alone right here. The terrain is attached and I make it active. Just to double check. Perfect. So what we need to do is to see how these abutments are going to project to the ground. Right, so let's switch to wireframe mode. And what we need to do is say, well, what is the line that is going to be projecting? So it's going to be projecting maybe the curtain wall from, let's try it from here. We can do it from here too. Well, let's try it from here from the bottom. So we can do a CV line and trace that line. Or we can also do just a standard line. So a smart line that is going to track the edge of the abutment itself. Okay, so from this point, I'm going to project my abutment slope to certain elevation. So for that, let's also activate the terrain. I want to see what elevations I'm dealing with. So I will just select the properties and display the triangles. So I got something to snap on and that's it. Right. So I would like to go maybe a three to one slope down to a certain elevation. Right. And let's see this elevation, 140. Right. So now I can go tools in civil and take a look at the 3D command here. The one that I'm going to use is slope to target. So there are different options to do that to a terrain, to an elevation, horizontal distance. So let's try this to elevation. I'm going to say that I'm going to go to elevation 140. I don't know if it's in cut on field. Usually this is so I will just put both. And the slope, I said I wanted uh, three to one, right? So here and I can just go three to one, right? So it's 0 0.33 percent for that in both directions. And it's going to be a rounded corners, constant transition on the slope, and I'm going to unlock the start at the beginning because what I need to do then is so go into the dialog say that I want this to an elevation yes left click look, I want to go to an elevation I want to locate the reference element that will be my white line the smart line that I just placed left click I'm going to go to elevation 140 and the option will be cut and field and this is the projection right is that the one I want I would say yes so left click uh, the beginning will be the beginning of the line, so I can just go out to lock the start, accept it, and all the way to the end of the line. In that case, 51 feet. So, alt again and accept it. So then, I just have my slope at 3 to 1 from the above itself. Right? So now, what I need to do is to just identify what is the actual slope or terrain that is created all around it. To make it this a little bit clearer, one more time, I'm just going to hide the triangles here, just for visualization purposes, so I have only the elements that I need. So for that now, i come back once again to the civil tools here, and I'm going to create a terrain, a new terrain, from elements and this new terrain 
we have a boundary condition, right? Because these both lines are going to be boundaries. Uh, so a maximum side length of 500 feet, just to say something. Uh, and the feature definition is going to be existing boundary. I can just switch it to maybe contours and triangles, or just contours, so you will see. And this will be uh, abutment slope, for example, just to give it a name, abutment slope 0, 1. This is abutment 1. So saying that, I just go to the screen and then say I want to add these elements, the first one that I did, right? And then locate the next element to add, that's the next element. And when I'm done, right click, reset. This is gonna be a type of boundary. And maximum triangle length, left click, left click. And it creates a new terrain. And that is your abutment slope at three to one with a full terrain. So now I can activate my bridge and see how everything come into play for all the other options. So support line, my barriers, and my views. So now I have this about me going three to one to the ground here. I, can, I could do it at the middle, I could do it at the top, I think. I just did it for clarity purposes, but as you can see, this is what you can do. And being at the range, you can also compute volumes and so on and so forth. I will want to complement that. Uh, remember that I also deactivate the corridors. So now I can see the entire picture of the project itself. Thank you.